Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today is March 6th, 2020. It is 3.30 p.m. I am pretty much uh, just waiting out another 15, 20 minutes. I will be leaving to get fuel, get on the road, and get out of town for a weekend to go do some shed hunting with uh, a buddy of mine, Ryan. Um, Southwest Tines Outdoors, check them out. They produce a lot of really good YouTube videos. Um, they're just some hard-working dudes, man. They get out there and bust their tails, so I'm really honored and proud to be going with them on this shed hunting trip. Um, there might be... My buddy Jeremy might possibly come out tomorrow after he gets off work. Uh, I don't know if Ryan's got anybody else coming out at any point. It doesn't sound like it. So if anything, it'll just be him and I, which I'm perfectly okay with. All right, here we go on the road, all loaded up, headed to get fuel. There's a gas station right by me that's dropped down to 197 right now for fuel. So I'm gonna be able to fuel this pig up fairly cheap. That's exciting. Um, I'll film a little more probably when I'm fueling up and then jump on the highway and we'll be rolling. Thanks again for coming along. <laughs> all right, I hope it ain't watered down. <laughs> right, if you ain't lying. <laughs> This is what happens when gas is $1.97. You got this cluster going on, man. But ironically, there's two other gas stations that have the same price. But this is one everybody loves for some reason. $1.97 again. We'll be on the road soon. All right, finally on the road after that gaggle at the gas station. Man, it was crazy. But I'm headed out. I got about an hour and a half or so. I don't know, good little drive. Depends how far in I'm going until I get there. But uh, I'm just glad. Town's behind me. Mountains are in front of me. That's the plan. Sheds are the plan. Let's see if the E team used to say, love it when a plan comes together. Hopefully that's what happens. We'll keep you posted. Here we go. All right, so fueling up one last time. We'll top it off before I really head out. Um, that's not bad at all considering where I am. And I don't need much, probably 20, 25 bucks, something like that, I'm hoping. But moving along pretty decent now. And uh, let me see here. Oh, there we go. So I'm allowed to actually switch it on this phone, awesome. Yeah, trucking along, doing good. I'll probably be to the gate to meet Ryan in, I don't know, not very long, hopefully about half an hour. And then we'll get in there and set up camp. And as I said, I only needed about 20 bucks. So that's good. I'm gonna put this up, hit back on the road and keep trucking. Okay, so we just got a uh, audible we decided on because we're actually meeting up with another guy, uh, Desert Antler off YouTube. He's a pretty successful shed hunter. Um, sorry about all the shadows and stuff. The sun's kind of in my face right now. But um, anyways, so we're gonna meet up with him and that'll make three of us. And then, uh, yeah, that's the joys of, of shed hunting and getting out is trying to pick the right area. And he was actually headed to the spot we're gonna go to now, so. He messaged Ryan, Ryan messaged me, we're all gonna meet up and it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm kinda excited about the area we're going to. I know it holds a ton of elk, so uh, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't hold a ton of shed hunters also, but it's public land, everybody has that right. We'll see what happens. So we're just gonna keep on trucking now. It's 5.45, I'm like an hour and 20 minutes away from where we're gonna meet. But I get to go through a lot of country that holds deer and elk along the way too. So closer it gets to sundown, there's a real good chance I might see something and I'll get to see if anything's dropped by chance or everything's holding or whatever. But it's gonna be a fun trip regardless. So moving on, moving on, go with the flow. Check out that sunset. Minus my dirty ass window in my truck, but beautiful. 
gonna be a good weekend, I think. Can't wait. Less than an hour from where I'm meeting Ryan, and then we're gonna move on and go meet Desert Antler. Set up camp, it'll be dark, but that's all right. And then get up and be in just amazing elk country. Can't wait. Check this out. How's that for beautiful? Silhouetted cow elk with the sun going down. That is amazing. We're getting everything set up uh, as far as packs and stuff, getting ready to hit the road. My head always looks so crooked. Um, and go hit the hills today. Shut up, man. Yeah. All right, so here we are, day one for Ryan and I. Ryan Southwest Tines, Jordan Desert Antler. You know me, that one bearded guy. And the pups that are out here too. We're gonna go yep. <laughs> hit the slope, see if we can load up the packs. Get you some footage, hopefully, of us picking them up, and uh, Let's we'll do be it, talking dude. to you soon. Yeah. Well, first one of 2020, a little two and a half point, hard white, barely getting hairline cracks, but it's a start. That's how I found him, just like that. A lot of rubs up here. It's a start. Sick. So I just picked up that little two point. Walking around, found this guy. This little skull cap. Can't pick it up. I'm gonna document it. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I'm talking, he's only got mm, two inches on one side. So I just found this broken tine. On the way back down, might as well take it, huh? We're headed now to a spot down the road for service. Gonna look at some more spots on the maps and stuff. And then uh, roll out for uh, Ryan and I can only do this morning into early afternoon and then we're each going to head home. And I think uh, Desert Antler is going to stick around for a couple more days before he heads back out of state. So but it's been fun, man. Legs feel good. A little slow start yesterday for me, but then I got going and feeling better. And see if we can't scoop up a few more today. Shut up, man. Yeah. All right, so here we are, day one for Ryan and I, Ryan Southwest Tines, Jordan Desert Antler, you know me, that one bearded guy, and the pups that are out here too. We're gonna go yep. <laughs> hit the slope, see if we can load up the packs, get you some footage, hopefully of us picking them up, and uh, Let's we'll do be it, talking dude. to you soon. Yeah. Day two on the board. It's not a big one, another deer shed. Telling you, I'm a deer shed finder. These elk sheds I struggle with, but if there's a deer shed, I'll find them. So let's walk up to it. Let me flip this camera around. Nothing big, but I'm always happy when I find a shed. Yes! There it is. Pretty cool little deer shed, actually. Uh, it's already chalk, but it's all right. Take, I'll pick it up to show you and then I'll uh, do it as they lay. He was, it's cool, man. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Not even probably 30 yards from where I just found that deer shed. Check this out. Yes. Nice. Not huge, but I'll take it. Yes. So, 50 to 60 yards from that deadhead I just found. Check this out. Bam! Oh, yes. Love it. So we're wrapping up out of here. Gosh, that's so cool. I know. I was hoping you guys got into him too. Ryan with his. Yeah, good, chunk. good. Chunk good length on those, man. Yeah. 
I'm glad Good you guys weight. got into a couple for the last little hike. <laughs> My Same nice here. little eight pointer, oh, technically. No, yeah, he's sweet, dude. Yeah, I'm both of you guys. Oh, I also found this little three point deer today. Also, that was from the first day. So we're just uh, getting out of here. So, yeah, if you don't want it ready, follow Ryan, Southwest Times Outdoor, Jared Desert Antler, and of course, you know mine. So, uh, good trip. Weather's rolling in fast, though. We're going to get out of here before the roads get too sloppy. So, we're heading home. This is where I'm going to part ways with Ryan here in a minute. Just bulk in a little more petro in the machines and be on our way. Weather really came in. It's raining like a maniac down here, so yep. both gonna try to get home, beat the storm. But had a blast, man. I really, really appreciate it. Boom. Make sure you subscribe. Yes, Southwest Times Outdoors. Same with mine. That one bearded guy. Hit that bell so you can see all our videos. <laughs>